Hello, and welcome to The Creative Cow Show. Today, we're speaking with Ian McDonough, the CEO of Blackbird. Blackbird is an editing and broadcasting platform with some amazing capabilities. Hello, Ian. How are you? Uh, hello, Bree. I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for having me on. Well, Ian, it looks like IBC is back in swing this year in Amsterdam. What will Blackbird be presenting this year? Well, it's good to finally be back, Bree. Uh, so we were last there in in 2019. So it's a hell of a long time since we've managed to uh, get to Amsterdam and 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 show people what Blackbird can do. Um, this time we're going to be having our own booth there um, at, at at the show, but we'll also be part of the Microsoft booth, uh, where we'll be exhibiting with a number of other vendors in a in a in a in a joined up workflow um, using Azure. So yeah, it's going to be it's going to be fantastic. First, first of all, just to meet people in person again in Europe. Obviously, we were back at NAB uh, in Vegas in April, which was really a breath of fresh air. Brilliant to, to brilliant to meet people in person. Um, and IBC is, I think, it's going to be even bigger. You know, it's going to be it's going to be more people feeling more confident about getting out there and um, and, and meeting us in person. So very very exciting. Very exciting. Now, what does the process look like for a user incorporating Blackbird into their workflow? So Black, Blackbird works as a cloud tool. Um, we, we can take uh, live feeds or we can take file-based uh, uh, content into the platform and we make our own Blackbird version of that content. It's a, it's a kind of super proxy as we call it. And what I mean by super proxy is it's, it's extremely lightweight and efficient and it, 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 will, it will be able to sit on a live feed and, and transcode on the fly um, into, the, into the Blackbird cloud, where editors all over the world can access that, that content three or four seconds after live. Um, and it will also work on a, on a growing file, so on a file-based uh, workflow, where while the file is growing and being ingested, editors can also work on that file. They, can, they will then have a complex range, a sophisticated range of tools that include uh, 18 video tracks, 36 audio tracks, complex uh, video transitions, uh, color correction, audio manipulation, etc. They can they can work on those those files, create an edit decision list an EDL that will then conform back against the high res. So remember the high res didn't move; it was still sitting in the same place, and the black version was was created and published from there. So it's a, it's a it's a unique architecture, and it is an extremely efficient architecture. Very fast, uh, very cost efficient, time efficient, carbon efficient. Um, and, and, and hardware bandwidth efficient that allows content to be created very, very quickly um, from, from live or file-based content. And speaking of bandwidth, I hear that Blackbird can function on bandwidth as little as a cell phone hotspot. How is it possible for a platform so powerful as Blackbird to function on such a reduced bandwidth? And you're, you're exactly right, Bruce. So, so often when we go to the likes of IBC or, or NAB, um, you know, bandwidth is a premium. So our, many of our customers see that really live in action when we, we, we have to tether it to a, to a hotspot. But the reason the way it works is that the, um, the, the codec that I mentioned just earlier, the, the super proxy, if you like, the, Black, the Blackbird version, um, is so incredibly efficient. We don't send it as a stream, we send it as individual frames. Um, so when you need to see those frames, those frames will arrive in your screen but you don't have to think about it as a linear concept. It, 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 it's, it's, it's more as a, as a selection of frames throughout the, throughout the piece of content. And then as you want to go deeper onto, onto an area of content, those more frames will arrive instantaneously, almost instantaneously. So it's, it, it's, it's, the, it's the concept of, of how that's been designed, which makes it so incredibly efficient um, and, and, and also high quality. So even though you're 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 going to be looking at a kind of hot spotted bandwidth connection, you could be editing HD or even 4K content on 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 that that, that, that hot spot. So it's just remarkable. It's, it's incredibly disruptive, um, given what else is out there in the marketplace, which is it generally doesn't use well. It can't use our codec because our co our codec is just for us. It's patented. Also, Blackbird offers subtitling. Is that correct? Yeah, we do. We do a full range of captioning. Um, it will, as I said, also offers uh, you know, color correction and, and, and sophisticated audio manipulation. Uh, and it's also a publishing platform as well. So you can publish out from our, from our platform as a one stop shop to, to, to social, 
but also back into uh, OTT platforms or other uh, editing platforms if certain other functions were required. So like, for instance, uh, a Media Composer or, or a Premiere Pro, or indeed into a linear a linear stream. So it could it, it's, it's got that one-stop shop approach to it where often we're used as a finishing tool for, for the likes of news or sport. But in some cases, if you're if if we're being used in conjunction as a workflow tool with a with a media composer, it will be able to to, to um, edit out and um, sorry publish out an AAF to that media composer for other functions to to take place on that in the near feed on that um, content. So yeah, yeah so it's a it does a lot a lot of things that that are uh, that that, uh, that that allow it to either be finishing or a workflow tool. Is there a certain amount of AI that allows Blackbird to function for the broadcasting community? So Blackbird is not an AI company. Um, so we don't we don't um, build any AI. Uh, it might be said that parts of the codec work on an AI type basis um, because they can predict it can predict um, frames that are going to be used. But I'll be very careful not saying that it's an AI. It's not AI. Um, but we do take in data feeds from AI engines. So so in that respect, the 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 you know the the concept of AI is not divorced from Blackbird, of course, because you know there are experts out there creating amazing AI platforms um, and technology, and we can take in those data feeds. But we're not an AI company ourselves. So, how scalable is what Blackbird offers? Can you be a small one-person show or a large broadcasting company such as A and E? Well, it, it it we are operating currently in an area where we are. Um, looking at companies that will scale from, let's say, five or ten to to, to two hundred or three hundred. So that's that's where we're operating today. But your question was really about what, where is the technology able to scale from, and it could literally scale from one to you know several hundred thousand a million. So it's 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 about it's about um, where our product sits is in that kind of five editors to two hundred editors. That's where that's where Blackbird the product sits today. But the technology is much more flexible and applicable to to a wider range. So it's a brilliant question. Um, do we have the product for the one person? Not really at the moment. Um, that's certainly something that that we are looking at. Do we have the product for the for for the millions? Not really. But it's certainly something that would be appealing. Well, thank you, Ian. It has been so wonderful to speak with you here on the Creative Cow Show. Perhaps one day we'll meet at IBC. You too, Brie. Thanks a lot. Uh...